Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Shimmers and Polishes. If you're new here, I create eye makeup, nail art, crocheting, and DIY videos. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon next to it for notification. It will mean a lot, guys. So don't forget to subscribe. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this simple coral smoky eye makeup look. It's very easy. It's perfect for any occasion and if you especially love simple eye makeup looks all the products that i've used for this tutorial will be mentioned in the description box below as always so don't forget to check that out and let's get started to begin with i'm going to apply this wet and wild uh, color correct concealer in shade medium beige this is slightly thicker and it's perfect for light colors when you apply it will just pop up and once i'm done with that i'm going to apply this color pop translucent powder and set that concealer in so that it doesn't budge and form creases on my eyes i'm going to use morphe into jacqueline hill palette i'm going to use that shade buns and apply it on my crease and blend it well so dab the product and blend it well i'm not adding any extra product because i want a well blended crease so keep on blending till you're happy with the way it looks now for my outer V area, I'm going to use this darker brown color called the Chip from the same palette and I'm going to apply the product, dab it and blend it, dab it and blend it and I'm going to slightly get it to my inner, uh, inner part of my eyes as well. So I'm dabbing and I'm going to use this color till I'm happy with the way it looks. For that coral shade, I'm going to use NYX Stripper Trick Squat Palette and I'm going to use that beautiful coral shade and apply it on a flat shader brush and I'm going to apply it onto the two-third part of my eye. So this is slightly powdery but then the pigmentation is really good so it's okay, there will be fallout. So I'll be using the same dark shade and I'm going to blend that coral and brown so that there are no harsh lines in between them so that there's a beautiful transition. Next, I'm going to use the Sugar's Brow Definer in Jerry Brown and I'm going to fill in the sparse areas of my brow. What I like to do it, first I brush my eyebrows, then I fill in the sparse areas and then I brush it again so that it doesn't look too harsh, you know. I just like plain, simple looking eyebrows. eye dark circles I'm going to use LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade orange and apply it onto my darker part of my under eye circles and blend it well and apply translucent powder to set that in place I'm going to use a clean blending brush and clean out or blend out those harsh edges so that it looks well blended now I'm going to use Mary Luminizer from the Balm Cosmetic to define my under brow bone area or to add a pop of highlight once I'm done with that, I'm going to use Gigi Hadid's Pearl Liner by Maybelline and apply it onto my upper waterline. I'm going to use Inglos Gel Liner number 77 and apply a thin line as close to my lashes, lash line as possible. Just a very thin defining line. Nothing too fancy, no wing liner, nothing. If you want, you can apply a wing liner, but I prefer a thin liner. And I'm going to use Maybelline's Fit Me Conceal in the shade Honey and apply it again on my, onto my under eye area and I'm going to blend it well and then set it again with some translucent powder. So I'm trying a couple of ways to uh, cover my dark circles. And I'm going to use the same dark brown shade and I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line with the same color and I'm going to use the, uh, the shade buns and apply it again under the, that brown shade and smoke it out well so that it looks well blended. I'm going to use the same Gigi Hadid's uh, Kohol liner in black onto my lower waterline and once I'm done with that I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to apply a good coat of Maybelline Hyper Curl Volume Express Mascara. If you would like to add falsies, then you can go ahead and add falsies as well now. I forgot to add a pop of highlight to my inner corner, so I'm doing that right now using the Mary Luminizer by The Balm Cosmetic. 
and here you guys is the final look beautiful coral brown smoky eyes it's a simple eye makeup look perfect for any occasion if you like simple eye makeup look i hope you enjoy watching this tutorial if you did don't forget to comment like share and subscribe to my channel shimmers and polishes and follow me on instagram and facebook as well guys please go and check out my channel and show some love by subscribing there are many more nail art eye makeup crocheting diy videos guys i hope you will enjoy watching my tutorials and you will hit the subscribe button so until next time you take care bye